I want to talk about a book you brought up. You 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 brought up writing a book, and I think that, you know for anybody who's ever written a book, you know it's so highly um, commendable. It's such a it's such an, a, a a great accomplishment. What, what year did you write your book? And, and, and your book is dreams are dreams are 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 made overnight. Did did I get that correct? Yeah, yeah. Dreams are built overnight. Yep. Yeah, I released it in two thousand fifteen. Yep. 2015. What, what 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 was your motivation for for writing it at that time? And at the time, did you is is being an author something that you always thought that you wanted to be? Nah. Uh, Et said you need to write a book. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True Simple story. As I was that. Like, okay. Yeah. He's like, you need to write a book. I said, like, oh, all right. okay. Okay. But but listen, Et had that effect on you. Most people. You can tell them right now, David, you're an author. You can tell people listening right now, go write a book. 99.9% of the people are not going to write a book. That's real. What, That's real. Like, like what, what was that process like for you? Like, that, that is, is it just my mentor told me I need to write a book or was there a means to an end? If I write this book, I am able to get more speaking. Like, what was your motivation there? He said, uh, I mean, if, he said, yo, you just need to write a book. It was, here's the thing. So it's not as daunting as people make it seem. So think about this. He said, you need to write a book. I said, well, like, where do I start? He said, the beginning. That was his answer. No lie. No lie. So I was like, okay, what's well, going to be my beginning? I'm going to start. When I, when I got my job at the Cheesecake Factory, so from that journey to me being a full-time entrepreneur, right? Think about this. If you come up with 15 topics to talk about, and out of the 15, you take the first one, and you write as much as you can on that first topic, and then the second one, write as much as you can on the second You do that for 15 days, 15 weeks in a row, 15 months in a row. You just write on one topic, at the end of whatever that 15 is, you'll have a book. It's not rocket science. But if, if, you haven't, if you haven't written one, it's daunting. Or if you're around people that say, oh my gosh, you're going to write a book? You might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is so big. But I was around other people who wrote books. You know, like, oh, when's it going to be out? Oh, you're about to write a book. That's what's up. It's not, it's, if you really think about it, like books don't, books don't have to be true. <laughs> books can be like nonfiction, fiction. They can be, um, I don't know, affirmations. Science It's not fiction. that serious. Yeah, you go write a book. So just go write a book. Write it. Just write it. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's an incredible accomplishment. Um, you know, it is, and I don't, I don't want to downplay it, but it, it's, not as, it's not as hard as people make it seem. So, for instance, T-shirt brands. Uh, how do I start a t-shirt brand? You need a logo, a design, a place to get blank t-shirts, and a place to print them. Boom. So somebody said, yo, you should start a t-shirt brand. I said, okay, cool. I got to get a logo. Let me go find a designer to design like a first design. Where can I get some t-shirts from? And where can I get printers from? And I went on Google. T-shirt brand. Yeah, I don't think people. I don't, I, I don't think people use Google University. <laughs> I don't think they take advantage of that university nearly yeah. as much as they should. If, if if people took advantage of that university, yeah. as much as they scroll up and down on social media, yeah, it would be so many more millionaires and billionaires in this world because it is literally nothing. It is, it's, it's virtually nothing you can't find on the internet right now. Absolutely. You are not taught in, in an Ivy League college. Yeah, or even on Facebook, bro. If you ask any question on Facebook and you got some friends, they're going to answer it for you. People love giving their opinion. No, nah, they really so, do. Yeah, so I, I just want to encourage somebody who is afraid and you feel like what's in your head and what you made of it probably isn't true. The story you're telling yourself about the thing that you haven't even done yet probably isn't true. That's so real. You know, for, for, for years, 
I have friends, extremely successful friends, and they get coached. And they have been telling me for years, Sean, you need to be coached. For one, I'm looking at them like they're crazy. Like, why would you ever need to be coached? You'd have made it to the finish line. Right. Like, like what is the purpose of this? And I recently started being coached. And it's so crazy that you said that because that was one of the first things, you know, that, that the coach told me. The story that I tell myself, you know, it probably isn't true. Like, like the, the, the thing that is holding me back, that's just a story that I made up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not the reality. It's your reality. Mm. But it is not the reality. And I think we all hold us. And, and it's crazy. And it's good to have these conversations. And we'll take it back to anybody who's watching this who is an entrepreneur or, or looking to climb the corporate ladder or climb the ladder within your company. It doesn't matter how successful you are. Every level, there's always doubt. Mm -hmm. the, the doubt doesn't go away just because you've had some success yeah. and achievements in your life. There's always these same doubts. So I, I, I just want people, it's normal. That, that, that's the best I can tell you. But those yeah. stories in your head, those are just stories that for, at this moment, they're your reality. But understand yeah. they are not the reality. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.